Hello everybody, here I am again ranting on about starters and what they mean for gardener engines and so on. Just having fun. I'd like to talk to you about the effect of flat batteries on gardener engines and their starters. Or even batteries that are not quite up to full charge. Now I'll confess what I have to say to you has it's not peculiar to Gardner engines, it's, it's, it's true of any starter motor on any engine that I know of. But first I want to discuss with you some uh, electromagnetic phenomena, which I've talked to you about before, but um, it's so important to understand this that I, I don't mind repeating it. Here we have a simple magnet. I would love if it was a bit bigger and a bit stronger, but I'm afraid it's all I've got at the minute. And here we've got a conductor, an ordinary everyday conductor, piece of wire. If I pass a magnet past that conductor, or if I pass a conductor past a magnet, it doesn't make any difference, a voltage will be generated in that conductor. It's an extraordinary phenomena. And so much of our civil civilization relies on that. That if I pass a conductor, pass a magnet, a voltage will be generated in it. Now, here we have a starter motor. And here we have conductors in here. Zoom on that. Those are the conductors. Those are copper and copper wires all throughout here. And whenever we engage our starter, the starter rotates. I've been through that with you a number of times. And as I described, if you've got a conductor in here rotating inside a magnetic field, there will be a voltage generated in it. So whenever we push the button on our starter and the starter fires up, there's a, a back voltage or a back EMF generated, which opposes the voltage that's in the battery. So let's just consider this again. Whenever I push the starter button, a massive current flows here through these terminals. A massive amount of current flows through there. But these starters cannot withstand large, heavy flows of current for any long period of time. They'll burn out quite quickly. So it's really important that you don't crank the starter and crank it and crank it and crank it, you're going to burn it out. But what happens whenever the rotor starts to rotate, you get this back EMF generated and it reduces the current, particularly once the starter fires up, sorry, once the engine fires up, once the engine fires up, this starter motor could be doing, oh, it could be doing 1500 RPM or 2000 RPM. So there's a significant back EMF generated and that's what reduces the current and that's what protects your starter motor. But what happens whenever your batteries are low or flat, the battery doesn't have enough energy to rotate the starter motor fast enough whenever it's engaged with the engine. There's a heavy load on the starter motor and it's not able to rotate the rotor fast enough. Hence, you don't get as high a back EMF and the current then is too high. You might think that the opposite would be true, that whenever you've got flattish batteries, that it, they'd be more gentle on the starter and there's no danger of the starter burning out, but it's not true. Because the back EMF is insufficient, you get too heavy a current flowing and you'll burn your, your starter out. So, flat batteries are a no-no, a very bad idea. You must keep your batteries fully charged. So as soon as we engage the starter, as soon as we press the starter button, this is the situation that we're faced with. You can see the battery there on the left, 24 volt battery, and the starter on the right. But the starter has a very low resistance, often much less than an ohm. So <clears throat> what happens then is very heavy currents flow, maybe, 200 amps or something like that. Now, the starter can't withstand 
that amount of current for very long. That's why it's really important not to over crank any of these CAV starters on a gardener engine. If the engine doesn't start within a few revolutions, stop, investigate the problem. Don't be cranking and cranking the, the starter. They're just not designed to handle that heavy current for a long period of time. But as I explained to you at the outset on this video, as soon as the conductors in the starter, as soon as the wires in the starter start to rotate within the magnetic field, there's a back EMF generated. There's a voltage generated, which is inclined to oppose that 24 volt. And the end result of that is that the current falls back down again. The problem is that if the batteries are low, then there just isn't enough energy in the battery to rotate the starter fast enough. And there's very little back EMF generated. With very little back EMF generated, whatever voltage is left in the battery is applied across the very low resistance in the starter. And that means that you get, can get very heavy currents flowing again. And if they're left flowing for any significant length of time, they'll burn the starter out. That's why low batteries are a fundamentally bad idea. You might think it'd be the opposite. You'd think that low batteries uh, would be gentle on the starter, but it's not the case. They're, they're very definitely bad news. So I hope you got something out of that. And hopefully it'll be a lesson learned. You must keep your batteries fully charged. Thanks a lot.